But most of us look from the central point and allow our thoughts to dissipate. Jesus' vision went to one point, that subjective condition that always exists. The object changes, but the truth never changes. Now, if we changed and gave all our energy to that one-pointed attitude, our bodies would emanate light. When we came into a room, that room would light up. We have seen that many times. It is not phenomena. It can be photographed and you cannot photograph phenomena. We can turn from the unstable condition in which we have chosen to live to the stable condition and it takes us only as long as it requires us to take the thought. The very instant we have changed our thought to this truth or God, it is right with us and we are that very thing. We do not need any lessons. Lessons only make us aware. They are a power, yes, but we are apt to give more energy to the lesson than to the meaning it conveys. It took only one demonstration for those two students to walk out and stand with the teachers on the water while the others stood on the bank. There are many standing on the bank because they do not change to a stable condition. The same amount of energy they give to instability would take them right out on the water. We do not need to leave here to learn to walk on water. Nor do we need to leave here to learn one single precept. There is but one precept, and it is right here within us. We cannot change it. It does not matter how long we keep away from it. When you turn toward the light, you find that you are the light. Did Jesus need to walk toward the light? Why, he was the light. It is, as he explained, the light of truth, the light of love, the light of God. Jesus never used a thought that was not turned toward principle. With that attitude, we can all follow in that very simple way. Those people who live in that simple way do not take something for, from someone else, but bring out from within. That is worked out to the supplying of food in every necessity. The only difference between them and the rest of mankind is that they have projected their vision to take in a wider horizon. Everyone can work it out for himself. Once we have worked it out, we have learned the rule. We follow our own course and then we know. Paths may be presented and ways shown, but unless we use our own way, we are not going to accomplish it. If we look to others, we are adding energy and impetus to something that someone else is doing, and we are giving that energy from our body. The moment we present our way, we add energy to our body and we have ample to spare. That builds up a condition that helps everyone. We do not take the thoughts of another to build upon. We build our own. We build our thoughts into universal condition that benefits the whole of humanity. It is said that no one brings forth an accomplishment in any way without assisting the whole race. It is the energy we add 
directed toward one great attitude of thought that carries humanity on 